Good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for joining us today to discuss this important topic of business social media. Uh, to begin, I'd like to introduce you to Team CSI. Uh, we are myself, Justin Bernard, uh, Tammy Knowlton, Joe Torres, Sheris Hedden, George Merla, Edward Poon, and Lisa Mc Michelle Kastner. And now Tammy will go over the specifics of our question. Good afternoon. The three questions we'll be discussing today are determining where T-Space fits in AT&T's internal infrastructure, and should it replace existing tools? Can AT&T realize the cost savings, and should AT&T promote the value of T-Space? I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Joe now. One of the first questions that we addressed as a team was whether T-Space would replace any of our existing communication tools. And what we determined as a team is no in the short term. In the long term, we do see T-Space evolving into a single communication cut hub for uh, AT&T through some simplification, unification, and integration. Uh, with that simplification, there's going to be some cost savings, and Sherish is going to go ahead and talk a little bit more about that. As Joe mentioned, question number two is whether or not AT&T can realize cost savings by implementing T-Space. So to help determine what opportunities we really have, we looked both externally and internally at three main cost areas. We have productivity, infrastructure, and employee retention. From a productivity perspective, GE had a great example with Support Central. They were able to roll it out, create a, a central platform to share their knowledge. People could go out to identify SMEs. They were able to connect in a, u a unique way than, than they had ever done before. When we look internally at AT&T, Joe had a great example with his host sales team. They created a Uverse wiki that kind of became the central repository for the project. And so it not only housed project information like the project plan, the business requirements, but it also allowed them to create profiles where they could actually set up identities to help identify SMEs. So by having this as a central repository and having all different business units, units involved in the project, they were able to go in and save time on implementation. They were able to reduce it from six months to about 30 days. When we look at that project, currently it's looking at saving the company about $310,000 this year and doubling it next year. Second, we looked at infrastructure. TransUnion had a great example with social text. They were able to spend about $50,000 and in about five months they saved $2.5 million. They did this by allowing their employees now to be able to go to this one location identify software upgrades that they may need, identify unused hardware instead of going out and purchasing it. Now they were able to utilize this to get that information and they reduced their cost by 2.5 million. Internally, we've already started to save money. With Tammy's team, she created a community for her data center team and now they're sharing inventory across the country. So once you know one location identifies maybe they need a Cisco router, they can go onto the, <coughs> the community and identify if another center has one. Within the first three months, they've already saved the company $25,000. Finally, with employee retention, Best Buy had a great example with Blue Shirt Nation. They rolled this out, and they were able to reduce their turnover from a double digit down to 8.5%. They did this by now creating the central location where their sellers went in to find information, to connect with people around the, the company, and then also importantly, to really help build a better relationship and feel more connected to the company. We look internally with AT&T and employee retention from a sales rep perspective in our, in our retail stores is pretty high at 31.7%. By rolling out something like T-Space to, to that environment, you can create that connected um, employee. You can give them more knowledge. You can identify speeds, which will ultimately turn over um, a higher uh, salary for those um, sellers, making them more connected to the company. All three of these are great examples of ways that AT&T can realize cost savings, but it also is a great example to um, help us realize our one AT&T vision. So now I'm going to turn it over to George so he can talk to you about supporting it so that we can actually realize these cost savings. George? Thank you, Sherish. The question is, should AT&T promote the value of T-Space? The simple answer is yes. The challenge is how. Based on the recent ADP survey seen here, not there. The largest percentage of those surveyed suggest that the major benefit of T-Space will be their ability to collaborate, educate, and share knowledge, breaking down the business silos that exist today. We need to leverage this existing forums such as town hall meetings, business unit meetings, local staff meetings, news now releases, and the AT&T Insider. Also, with applications such as web phone, email, and queue built into the T-Space platform, employees can use T-Space as their homepage, a one-stop communication tool. We need to make it easy and intuitive. With ease of use comes adoption. The success of Best Buy's Blue Shirt Nation is based on ease of use. Finally, we need to seed influencers and evangelists. We need to have champions create a demand for T-Space. To give you an idea of just how powerful a few influencers can be, when Oracle first rolled out their social networking platform, 
Paul Pedrazzi, developer, sent an email out to 100 key individuals within the organization. By the end of the day, 8,000 employees had visited the site. Now we have a great place to begin with the 70 ADP participants that cover a number of different business units. At 70 influencers already in place and a tremendous foundation to start from. At this time, we'd like to field any questions we have for our team.